In this video, I will show you how to set up unattended remote access on TeamViewer using the latest version. Notice that I'm already logged in on TeamViewer. If you don't know how to download and install the latest Team Viewer, then you can check my other video in the description below. This would be our remote device. We will set up the unattended access so that we can remote access anytime, anywhere. Just so you know, the Team Viewer ID will not change. It's permanent. However, the password will change every time you restart the application or if you generate new password. We need to set a permanent password then you will use it to remote access anytime and anywhere as long as the remote device is online. This is what we call unattended remote access. To do this, go to settings. Choose go to this device settings. Choose advanced settings. Tick open advanced settings. Under advanced, scroll down and look for personal password. You need to enter a very complex password. It will not accept a simple password. Use a mix of alphabetical and numeric, a mixture of upper and lower case, and special characters. You need to confirm your password. You can see it's acceptable. Now, click OK to save the changes. Now, we will use my other computer to test the unattended remote access. Under Home tab, scroll down, and at the left, enter the Partner ID or the Team Viewer ID. Click Connect. This time, we are not going to use the team viewer password. Instead, we will use the unattended or the permanent password we just configured. Click log on. Starting remote session. And now we are connected. Next time we are going to connect, we are not going to enter the password again because we use the unattended or permanent password. We did not use the team viewer password. We can test by restarting the remote session. Let's end the remote session. Now, let's try to connect again. The unattended or permanent password has been automatically saved so we will just click log on. You can always use the unattended password even if you want to connect from a different device. And again, we are connected. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, Subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.